All right, so today's Tuesday, October 20th, and I've been sick for like a week, so I wasn't gonna make a video because my voice sounds like this, and then I decided that I would. So hi. There's pretty much just three things I want to discuss during this breakfast vlog, and um, I, it counts as breakfast vlog because I matched my cup my mug, my coffee, to my shirt. And um, I matched my shirt to my soul. And my soul is made of flannel. So that all makes sense, right? I sometimes worry when I'm sick that I don't make any sense. And then people tell me that I don't make any sense. So this morning, I was just chilling and laying in bed, being a sleepy, being a sleepy slug. But this one, you can see him, here he is. Y'all probably don't know that Tiger is in uh, the majority of the vlogs that I record sitting on my bed, Tiger's usually right here. <laughs> so Tiger was born in 1998, which means that he's um he's older than the majority of my YouTube watchers, if the demographic report is correct. So Riley, on the other hand, is is two, and he's kind of rambunctious. So I'm waking up and I see them cuddling at the bottom of the bed, which is kind of unusual and rare for them. Like they get along, but they don't usually cuddle. But their faces were touching, and like so I'm Snapchatting a little bit to my friends and like their faces slowly get closer and closer to touching and then I'm like okay this is adorable so why don't I take a little video cuz like this is cute and I didn't think they were gonna move at all I was like I'll just take a video and they weren't even moving they were just being cute and then this happened Did you see that? He just literally ripped fur out of the back of his neck and then out of his face. Like, out of his face. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, he's so silly. It's just like, of course Tiger's not happy. And then look at this clip I took right after. Riley doesn't have a single regret. He's just like, was it me? Was it me? He couldn't see me. You know, he's just so silly like that. In any case, I've been very entertained by the cats. So, the second thing that I wanted to mention, so being sick was like, I didn't really go into detail with that. I get too distracted by the cats. Um, I think part of the reason that I'm sick, actually, that's part two, is that I was traveling so much and having so much fun. So like two weeks ago, I was um, speaking and performing at Boston College, and then I was at Coe College in Iowa for the second time, which was fantastic. Um, both of those places were incredible. Um, they were really full, like the room was full up, and that was really neat. It was really neat to see the diversity of students attending, like whether they went to the Pride Alliance or if they were just random students. So it's really nice to be there early, and then I'll have, um, you know, I'll be with like usually members of the Pride Alliance or whatever professor has contacted me to bring me to campus, and they'll be like, oh, I don't recognize half these people. That's amazing. Like they're not Pride Alliance or GSA members, and that was so cool. So I had fun at both of those places like returning to Cedar Rapids was weird it was like I knew where I was and like I knew the campus and I knew some of the students and to see them grow over the course of a year and a half was just like wow that was like one of the first big speaking gigs I'd ever done and so to go back there was so neat um, so I think it was maybe in the in the travel body stress of the whole you know two in one week kind of thing that's so rude. Anyway, I think it was like in that all that stress that I caught this cold. So I'm feeling really great. I don't have anything for the next week or two. And then I'm off to Chicago and then I'm off to New Jersey for the GSA um, forum. And then I'm off to some other places and I'm just really excited. But it's nice that I've got a little bit of a break so I could just wallow in this sickness, which really, really leads me to the final point I'm going to make. 
listen up everybody this is sick skylar style the triple s all right first things first this is flannel it matches exactly one that i gave to my friend who never gave it back so i'm happy to kind of have it back in my life and it was um it was a stylish 12.99 on clearance and i was like perfect and i haven't taken it off since then it's been like five days great all right next we have these sweatpants um yeah, so I basically only have Skidmore sweatpants and they're way too big on me, so I wanted to get some more stylish sweatpants. So here's my stylish sweatpants. And they have this little logo on it that says, um, bro. Um, bro. Right? I don't know, something like that. I was like, that's cool. And they got like the little, uh, little scrunchy bottoms. Like, that was so not cool, you know? When I was a kid, it was not cool to have the scrunchy bottoms. Like, everyone cut them off. And my brother says it's still not cool. But I think that style, you know, I like it. It's like I could work out. I could be like, I'm not too sick today to go like this, you know? All right. And then probably most importantly is my socks. You know, we gotta think about this. All right, so <clears throat> what you do is you get some socks from your grandpa and then in order to complete the style, you roll them up, I mean, you pull them up as high as you can. And then actually, no, 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 push them down. Push them down as far as you can. Then you pull your sweatpants down and then you pull them up over your sweatpants, right? So you look like you've got like these beast ankles. Like, um, bro, what's up with your ankles? Yeah, I just work them out every day. Yeah. So then you're like locked in to this like sweatsuit of flannel, sweatpants, and grandpa socks. And then, you know what? You're basically the most stylish person with a cold who isn't leaving their house ever. I just prefer to wear just sweatpants all the time. I'm not single, so it's not like I need to seduce anyone, you know? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but anyway, I hope y'all are doing well. I hope this finds you well. And two sleepy boys, peace out. I'll be back next week. Subscribe, like, comment, especially about how cute Tiger is. If you make it this far, talk about how cute Tiger is in your comment, and I'll know that you're, uh, I know you're real, but you're hashtag real. All right, bye. You woke up right when I finished recording. Like literally I clicked off and then you woke up. Really? I'm gonna include this. I'm gonna include this in the video.